Our forests could be near a breaking point when it comes to climate change. That's according to new research from experts at Colorado State University. They say the dead trees from fire and beetle kill are becoming a threat. We asked your reporter in northern Colorado to find out more. Dylan Thomas joins us live tonight from Fort Collins. And Dylan, these researchers are hoping that people will start to take notice. And to understand their research, you need to know the difference between a carbon sink and a carbon source. A sink absorbs carbon from the uh, atmosphere, a source emits it. And right now, researchers say Colorado's forest as a collective is a carbon source. The trees through photosynthesis suck carbon in, out of the atmosphere and store it in, in wood. And the good news is our state's trees absorb a lot of carbon, reducing climate change risks. One thing we found is that Colorado's forests hold a lot of carbon. The amount of carbon that they hold is equivalent to about 1.3 billion cars on the road for, for one year. So it's a lot of carbon. Which is about half of the amount that Oregon's lush forest absorbs every year, according to researcher Tony Borster at CSU. And so it's playing in a really important role. But for decades now, Colorado has been navigating navigating drought, fires, and beetle kill in our beloved forests. And when CSU researchers reviewed data collected between 2002 and 2019 from our forests... The forests on the whole are em emitting uh, more carbon than they're capturing. That's not only due to the level of carbon humans create, but also... Largely uh, because of uh, things like insect and disease and fire. Um, with insect and disease uh, being the, the biggest culprit the, over this, this last few years. Is that because the trees are dead and therefore are incapable of absorbing the carbon? Yeah, great question. So the, when, the, when the trees die, they stop absorbing carbon, uh, but they hold that carbon until they start to decay and decompose. So as they, as they break down, that carbon that was in the wood is released. While impossible to predict the future, Vorster warns this could be a concerning trend going forward. With more droughts and, and wildfires and things, that it's, it's likely something that's going to continue. We should note there are still many pockets of the forest that are carbon sinks. They're just outweighed by the sources. And we should also note this data was from 2002 to 2019, meaning the fire season of 2020, East Troublesome and Cameron Peak, were not factored into this data. Reporting live in Fort Collins, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First. Yeah, good